Hello students, so we start with another chapter that is energy and water conservation in the housekeeping department. By the end of the chapter, students will be able to learn the importance of energy and water conservation and the various methods of consuming energy. Energy conservation. We utilize external energy supplies to fulfill many of our basic needs as well as provide comforts, luxury and entertainment. The various forms of energy used are mechanical energy, heat energy, electric energy, light energy and a chemical fuels. Due to the intermediate use, insufficient energy sources have become a global problem. The global energy demand is increasing due to the increase in population, industrial development and changing the lifestyle. As on average of 80% of the energy used worldwide is provided produced from the fossil fuels such as coal and petroleum. This is the energy pyramid which you can see in the picture. This is how the energy is being maintained, the conservation of energy is being done. Energy conservation. The hotel industry consume energy in different form that is heat energy, electricity, petrol and so on. It is possible to save 15 to 20 percent of the cost by using the conservation method. Energy monitoring which is very much important and each and every staff of the hotel should maintain the strict monitoring of the energy over the consumption of the energy and the following areas of the particular in the industry in the hotel industries where, uh, where uh, energy monitoring should be done are guest room, laundry and light, guest room. So, uh, in the housekeeping department, it is a major space in the hotel is devoted to the guest room and corridors, number and variety of ways of consuming energy in this area are stalling. Although the energy cons uh, conserved in one room or... Uh, on the corridor does not seem significant but when multiplied by 100 and so on the rooms it does became a significant some of the opportunity of the hospital uh, in the housekeeping department uh, where they can be significantly controlled uh, contribute to energy saving uh, are as follows on uh, that we need to turn off the guest room lights when uh, rooms are not physically occupied use the minimum lighting when making up of a room cleaning when making or cleaning up of a room uh, for example G gra can use a uh, natural lighting standard or uh, uh, possibly or uh, or turn off the corridor lights to reduce it for 50 percent when natural light is available and also at the um, at the evening time after 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. we can use a we can utilize 50 percent of the light in the corridors turn off the light in the linen room storage room uh, and the main uh, closets when not in use a uh, week as in the room we can have a lampshade clean at one at least once in a week a bulb gives a more light when clean by clean lampshades uh, we can also switch off the music and TV should be set when the rooms are not physically uh, occupied. It needs to be turned off the havoc system when rooms are not physically occupied. Uh, the lighting uh, is directly proportional. So these are the following things, following steps which we which needs to be regularly checked in the guest room so as to so as to consume the electricity. Coming to the laundry, which is another very important factor in the housekeeping department, whereas we can see the large amount of water as well as large amount of electricity is being used. So to conserve, uh, cons conserve this electricity, uh, what all we need to do is uh, we need to have a light turned off when not in use, that everybody knows that there is no point of switching off the lights. Uh, periodically clean the lamps and the light fixture. Again, the lamps need to be uh, for a nice, uh, for a um, uh, good amount of a lux level. The lamp sheet can be clean. 
operate washing machine at a full load is not uh, the not the only task which needs to be done but a partially loading uh, which require a less amount of a water which can be done and uh, check the record of a water conservation um, compared to the water conservation on a daily wage, uh, daily wages we can see uh, that the water is consumed consumed in a daily consumption of a water on a daily daily basis we can see that do not leave the water tap running that is an important task because a lot of the washing clothes are being done taken care in the laundry so we need to maintain that also consider the cold water detergent it really reduce the cold detergent water i mean the the clothes can be washed from the cold detergent water so that it can reduce the energy conservation and reduce the hot water temperature to 120 fahrenheit repair or replace all the hot water piping insulation and uh, all the walls should be checked for a leaks and should be able to shut off uh, the steam or machine when not in use right so these are the basic thing which needs to take care in the laundry lighting uh, as we all know again um, again and again repeatedly been said that the count uh, it's for 10 to 25% of the lights which is been uh, used and the hotel uh, needs to have a proper consu uh, consumption so far as when there is no uh, the person the place is not occupied the lights can be switched off and uh, it needs to be remember that uh, it needs to be remember about the heating ventilation air condition and other oversize whereas we can also reduce by ourselves i mean the consumption cannot we can let not to rise the consumption by taking care of this uh, wastage of the lights so it needs to be reduced so tips for the energy conservation when natural light use much more time I mean much more energy natural light can be used for example a gra can use a natural light or public area can be used a natural light and can use a natural light instead of the uh, light which is given to them on the public area so reducing of the artificial light the temperature can be controlled and even when the the room is not occupied or the place is not occupied for example the lobby is not occupied or the restaurant there is no guest the restaurant so you can any time switch off the uh, lights and have it or uh, there can be a cooling fuel which can be used on on a minimum number and uh, that's it so alternative sources which we have studied uh, so long uh, about a guest room about our surrounding that how we can use the natural sources we can use more number of a natural lights and um, uh, instead of using the lights we can use the solar energy which is uh, which is there in the hotel many of the hotels which is having a solar energy so uh, we can use for a lighting and heating of the water so next is your water conservation so we can these are the few ways of uh, an reducing the light energy and the water and conservation can be done on the various other ways for example the washrooms uh, in the toilets in the laundry where we have studied right now I mean about the laundry where we can use a less amount of a water and uh, which is very much important in the housekeeping department uh, to conserve the uh, water energy so water conservation is a most basic components uh, and we we all know that water needs water is been needed so if we start controlling the water if we start consuming the water in the various other uh, ways it will be helpful for us and the water can be uh, have a control over we can also have a control over the water conservation uh, hence water con effective con water management should be there there should be a proper control over the water to lead a successful establishment we it, these are the various things which has been required um, the various steps for uh, water conservation is while using on the uh, where we can see uh, many of us we are using uh, washrooms or toilet is being used the water conservation where is very important um, it there can there should be a water audit which needs to be done so as uh, the, so as to take care of the water 
um, there uh, there should there should be a proper communicate and there should be a proper uh, awareness about the water uh, conservation uh, to the employees uh, where they can achieve their targets there where they can achieve their targets through by the means of uh, the ed educating the people about the uh, water conservation and check uh, we can um, they can be a proper check on the regulation of uh, uh, waters uh, regarding uh, in the in the washrooms in the toilet area in the in the other area where they can have a proper look take care and the the taps and the pipes sure should make sure that uh, this um, that they are a proper drainage of a uh, water they are not there should be not a leakage pipe or they should the pipe for a leakage should be maintained that needs to be done uh inst installation of a sensor should be uh, an important task which needs to be done in many of the hotels whereas a sensor system will help uh, to conserve the water uh, low flow and the other water saving fixtures in a kitchen uh, guest rooms public areas and a washroom should be taken care um, so uh, like the way we we can say that we can consume the water and the fittings which is important install the latest type of a fittings which is there and the most of the water fitting efficient fittings should be there whereas it can uh, have a water saving technology ensure the machines are not fully loaded um, i mean they can be uh, as an par partial way also it can be go um, washroom uh, wash small uh small quantities in example 5 kg uh, machine should be there so that uh, the washing should not be an abundant uh, check for a leakage that uh, that is again a help uh, helpful for a uh, water so these are the various consideration which we need to take care in a water especially when we talk about in a guest room uh, there is a, a guest room can also be taken care about a water because we see there are guest room linen Uh, which is being used by the guest and uh, if we have a towel and a linen program in some of the hotel where we can see the the saving of a, saving of a water and energy is been there where there is a save our planet is been placed on the bed so uh, it also helps uh, to control the water as well as energy as well so these are the various uh, examples of a and the tips for a water conservation in the housekeeping department especially for the guest rooms and the public areas and uh, toilets which is uh, which we can see maximum number of a water is being uh, wasted so every single drop which is very much important so we need to take care of the uh, washrooms toilet areas whereas uh, we can use the minimum first wastage of a water by again there can be a faucets or a sensor which i have spoken before the sensor can be used sensor taps can be used or in a shower heads and all where there can be a less number of a wastage and the consumption of a water we see that there is a lot of consumption more than a 200 liters per, per is being wasted so we need to take care of the water so sensor uh, are uh, are being introduced so now we should as introduction introducing of those particular thing will help to save the water so this were the various uh, various things which we need to take care various steps which we need to take care while saving energy saving for in the light as well as on a water um so thank you so much thank you very much have a nice day thank you